The piece of advice that I've given students is that they need to get up and keep going even if they face a challenge or something that feels like a failure because being tenacious is what really got me through school. We often don't share all of the setbacks that we go through. We just see the end result, right? So my students see someone who has a PhD and who's working and who's a professional, but they don't see all of the letters of rejection that I get uh, when I try to publish or when I submit a grant. And so I share with them that I failed too and that it's just part of process and it's part of life. The best way to prepare students for being ready for the world is to model what a life of lifelong learning looks like. If you can model as an educator of what it's like to constantly being asking questions in your field and constantly doing the research and that that is interesting and valuable and worth doing, then those students see that and that gives them a model for how to behave once they leave college and go out into the real world. Cal Poly in their Learn By Doing, they're giving people not just experiences that I think are very unique to the university, but they're giving them a toolkit for how to approach any problem that they face when they get out in the real world. One of the things we do uh, that we're very successful with at Cal State East Bay is meeting the students where they are. And we spend a lot of time in our classes focused on theory, and we put that theory into practice, whether it's uh, service learning opportunities, internships. In addition, while most of our students are working, they spend 25, 30 hours a week working just to make ends meet. And so they have a little bit of life experience behind them and uh, we're able to put the theory and practice together along with their current working experience and, and by the time they leave our campus, uh, they're prepared for the, for the big world. I really try to stress uh, for students that uh, a career is more than a way of ma making a living, that it's very important that it connects to their vital passions and what they find meaningful in life. So I take them through exercises to set goals that are authentic to them. I actually require them to actually do their own projects or find their own authentic projects. And it's much easier for people to do something that's pre-assigned. In the beginning, there's a lot of resistance. But in the end, I always get the response that this was the life-changing class in their lives. And uh, in the career network that I work in now, I also have brought this approach. And we have some workshops for students. We explore what happiness is, which is uh, reaching your full potential and truly being engaged and challenged and doing your best.